now that um, I've been through all of the common systems archetypes, which is probably enough to put almost anybody in overload, I'd like to spend a few minutes and talk about some work done by Eric Wolstenholm, who di discovered that there is, in fact, a commonality amongst the archetypes that isn't really obvious to begin with, which is probably why his work was so groundbreaking to begin with. So if, if you, in fact, start out with an action and it, in fact, produces an outcome, and that outcome has an influence on the action that initiated it. And this particular structure is drawn with a question mark because depending upon whether this is a balancing or reinforcing loop, this, this could be a balancing structure or reinforcing depending upon what the feedback looks like. But it is, in fact, an intended consequence loop. And part of the reason that it's possible to, to distill or find the commonality amongst all these archetypes is because what I'm presenting is, in fact, a generic solution archetype. And out of this generic solution archetype will be presented four generic archetypes that are, in fact, more distinct and removes the the undefined nature of part of what I am presenting at the moment. So this particular sector is the intended consequence sector. It's, it's the action and the outcome and the interaction between them. To that, one then begins to think about the implications of the outcome. After some delay, what is the reaction to that outcome? And how does that reaction, in fact, affect the outcome itself, which is also a question mark loop because this loop isn't currently defined to be a balancing or a reinforcing loop, but it is, in fact, generically an unintended consequence feedback loop. And that, so that that sector itself is the unintended consequence reaction sector. And the additional piece is, in fact, the connection between the action and its influence on the reaction that results from the outcome. And that closes the loop, and there's a, thus it creates another loop from action to reaction to outcome back to action. And whether that is a balancing or reinforcing loop, in fact, depends upon whether the influences in that loop are balancing or reinforcing influences. But this is, in fact, the generic solution archetype that Eric came up with and found that using this generic solution archetype by defining the particular feedback loops as either balancing or reinforcing loops, he could come up with four different generic archetypes and map all of the other archetypes to them and one of them is called a relative control archetype. And I will do a video on each of these four generic archetypes um, specifically. But the relative control archetype, these five other archetypes map into that particular generic archetype. And the out of control archetype, there are four archetype, systems archetypes that map to it. There is one archetype, the success to the successful, that maps to a relative achievement archetype, and five archetypes that map into the underachievement archetype. And you'll see when the individual structures, or the four individual types of generic archetypes are presented, how it is that it provides a commonality amongst these groupings of system archetypes so that where while it's beneficial to understand the systems archetypes that have been covered to this point, there's also an advantage in understanding the generic archetypes because they are of a consistent structure. It's just a question of how one depicts the, the individual feedback paths to create the loops. Um, so Hope that, oh, and and I've also included a reference here, which is the the four works of Wollstenholm that I found that are very very meaningful in respect to 
this particular set of generic archetypes. So shortly I'll develop the other four videos on these four different types of generic archetypes and I'll see you there. Bye.